Last year, we held the first ever Invictus Games here in London. It was an event which focused the recovery of hundreds of wounded servicemen and women through sport. But more significantly, it inspired many hundreds more. The amazing British public embrace these games and its competitors as only they can, thanking them and the armed forces for their dedication and sacrifice. Over 400 competitors from 13 nations entertained thousands of spectators over four incredible and unforgettable days. It was an event that captured hearts, challenged minds and changed lives. The competitors showed grit, determination and humour, an absolute refusal to be beaten or be defined by their injuries. The Invicta spirit was born. As I've continued to work with wounded servicemen and women, I regularly see the power of the soldiers' stories to inspire others. For every competitor last September, there are hundreds of others around the world who would benefit from having the same opportunity. I'd always hoped that the last year's Games would be more than a one-off. For me, the 2014 Games were just the beginning of the Invictus story. I wanted other cities and countries to look at the competition, what it meant to those taking part and those who saw it, and take up the challenge for the next Invictus Games. So today, I am absolutely delighted to announce that the United States has taken up that challenge and will host the next Invictus Games in Orlando, Florida, from the 8th to the 12th of May, 2016. I have no doubt that Ken Fisher and his team will set the bar even higher than London did and that the USA will put on a great show, no pressure. I can't wait to see the American public supporting these inspirational men and women at the next Games. And what better place to host such a great family event than Orlando. There will be plenty of exciting developments over the coming months, so make sure you follow the Invictus story and join me for the next chapter of this remarkable sporting event. See you in Orlando. I am the master of my fate.